Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is another uh, installment of my uh, discoveries from a comic box. Uh, I have a couple stacks left of some DC stuff that I'm going to reintegrate back into the collection today. And uh, I just uh, thought I'd show you a stack of that stuff, just a little bit of everything. Uh, so first off we got uh, Tomahawk, number 137. Great Joe Kubert cover, or Son of Tomahawk, or Hawk, Son of Tomahawk, whatever you want to call it. Uh, with just some uh, Kubert goodness right there. Uh, some more Tomahawk, number 119, with a great Neil Adams cover. Some Gothic Romance, Sinister House of Secret Love, number two. Doing my best Mike impression from Comic Crypt of Castle Hills. <laughs> Phantom Stranger number 36. Nice Jim Apparel cover. I'm getting close to uh, completing that one, so looking forward to that. Unexpected number 118. More Neil Adams goodness. Unexpected 214 with a Joe Kubert cover. Swamp Thing Annual number one from 1982, uh, film adaption or the adaption of the uh, Swamp Thing movie. Unexpected 129. That looks like a Nick Carty cover. One of these nice 25-page uh, giants. More unexpected number 207. Featuring Johnny Peril. Ghost number 36. Number 87. Number 92. That looks like a Don Heck cover. Yeah, you can always tell. And the faces when Don Heck. He's one of those guys I really didn't like all that much. I know he did a lot of work for Marvel back in the day, and uh, I just didn't get it for a while. And then he did some issues of uh, Justice League later on for DC, and uh, I really enjoyed those and grew to appreciate his art quite a bit. Saga of the Swamp Thing number one. Ghost number 91. Super DC Giant number S22, Top Guns of the West. Another great Joe Kubert cover. You can't have enough Kubert. You know what I'm saying, Eric? <laughs> Speaking of which. Showcase number 87 featuring fire hair. More Joe Kubert. Our Army at War number 270. Number 260. Two forty six, fifty two page giant. Joe Kubert, enough said. Our army at war number two fifty. That's a nice cover. I really love the colors on that one. GI Combat, number 260. And this is a Sergeant Rock Spectacular. This is part of the uh, DC Special Series. I'm not really sure what the number is. I should, but I don't. <laughs> but more Joe Kubert greatness. 
80 pages. Uh, Weird War 51. I think I featured this in an earlier video. Uh, this is one of the uh, first art jobs by Marshall Rogers. Got a Kubrick cover. Yeah, that was the first uh, Rogers artwork. And here's number 52. More Marshall Rogers in that one. G.I. War Tales, number four. Okay. I'm sure I would have found some Justice League somewhere, so here's a, some more Justice League stuff. I don't know what that price tag is on doing on there, but uh, this is number 116. The world's greatest superheroes fighting the Matter Master. Got some great reprints. Challenge of the Untouchable Aliens. Uh, Silver Age team up with Starman and Black Canary versus the Mist. And if anybody's got this book and hasn't read this story in the back, uh, first appearance of Johnny Peril called Just a Story. Uh, it's from the Golden Age and it's uh, it's a really cool little tale. I would uh, recommend it. Uh, probably over all the other stories in this book, <laughs> even though I love Justice League. Okay, number 132, Leaguers Fight the Beasts Who Fought Like Men. This is part of the uh, Bicentennial books, number six. And I always like the little uh, heads at the top or on the side, the little vignettes. And I think most of those were done by uh, Neil Adams, Ernie Chan cover, 138. Featuring Adam Strange. Nice Neil Adams cover. And some Silver Age JLA, number 69. Green Arrow, you've been charged with murder and found guilty. And I guess that's when Wonder Woman was in her uh, Emma Peel stage. <laughs> number 79. I think this is probably an original copy. I didn't buy it off the stands, but I think I probably traded it or traded for it when I was a kid. You can see some tape at the top and probably all the way along the spine there. Justice League number 13, The Riddle of the Robot Justice League. Justice League 73, I think I've probably shown this one before, Joe Kubert cover on the JSA. Justice League number 12, the last case of the Justice League versus Dr. Light. Number 99, 52-page giant. Twenty-two, Mike Grail cover. It's one of my favorites. I could probably go through my JLA stuff and about twenty issues that I can say is one of my favorites, just because you know that's uh, some of the first stuff I read when I was a kid. Number one twenty, more Adam Strange. Conclusion of that story, number 121, Adam and Alana get married. Number 136, I think I showed this recently, probably in another discovery video, but I'm trying to integrate here, so I'm probably going to be going through some books that I've already shown recently, so sorry about that. Part of the JLA, JSA team up, and the Golden Age Batman, the Golden Age Joker. Uh, number 119. It's a Dick Giordano cover. Same with this one, number 118. I always wondered why uh, the Flash had bandages on the outside of his costume. <laughs> number 
117, another mic grill cover. I remember being really excited when I picked this one up. Oh, cool. Hawkman's going to rejoin the JLA. 134 against Despero. Thirty. Nice Ernie Chan cover. One twenty-seven. More Dick Giordano. I really love that yellow background on that. One twenty-six. Okay, here's the uh, issue of Warlord, number 36. And later on, uh, some new Teen Titans. It's the second series. Some more Mar Wolfman and George Perez greatness. Annual number four from 1986. DC Comics presents number 60, Superman and the Guardians of the Universe. Really nice Gil Kane cover. Shout out to my friend John, Dr. Boncello, on this one. And I'm pretty sure I bought this one off the rack. Flash 255. It's the Mirror Master. Yeah. Real sure I bought this one off the rack. Okay, uh, this is one of those books when I was a kid I saw uh, from ads and other back issues that I bought and I really wanted this book for a long time and I actually just ended up getting it just a few years ago, uh, Batman 223, it's a giant number G73, nice cover, one of those great square bound books, Teen Titans 29, Number 14. That's a really nice cover. Requiem for a Titan. And last we have Adventure Comics number 390. This is a giant. Number. What is that? G69. What it. Looks like it. I'm not sure. It's another square bound. Another. Uh, some great reprints, all romance issue. Okay, guys, that's all I got. Uh, for those of you that stuck around, appreciate the views and appreciate all the comments. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. And now, uh, back to work for me, putting these in the box. Onward and upward.